welcome to the Magic Kingdom entrance. Uh, this is where I am going to start my adventure on the monorail that goes to the hotels. There's two monorails here. One goes straight to the Magic Kingdom and this one goes to the Magic Kingdom and all the resorts. I believe the Polynesian is still closed, but there's a, wor there's a workaround. I'll be getting off at the Grand Floridian if that is the case, but I am going to do a little bit of a pub crawl. So come along, shall you? I just got pixie fied pixie dusted. <laughs> All right, I'm about to try one of these Dragon Balls. Oh, oh look at this. She is yeah! good. So normally you would get off at the Polynesian as the first stop, but right now it's still under construction. It's August 8th and I spoke to a woman that works there and she said that it's expected to open in about two more weeks. So you might want to check before uh, you go just in case you're staying there or if you don't want to walk from the Grand Floridian to the Polynesian, which is what I'm going to do now because I want my first stop to be Trader Sam's. So let's go to Trader Sam's at the Polynesian. Well, because Trader Sam's is such a popular place and they do allow kids in there until seven o'clock, it's like 3.30 now and they opened at three. So I'm on the list to get in, but the wait is about three to four hours. I'm not gonna sit here for three to four hours. And I had a walk here because the monorail is not open here yet. So on a normal circumstance, you would just hop right back on the monorail and go to the next stop and then come back. I don't wanna keep walking back and forth, so I may or may not come back here later. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go grab another water. I'm gonna walk back to the Grand Floridian and I'm gonna start my day of the hop there. Um, but if I don't get to go to Trader Sam's tonight, I will just link up here right now um, of a video that I have done um, when I was at Trader Sam's. And so you can get an idea, but I don't wanna ruin it for you because it's a very interesting special bar. But okay, so off to get some water and then walk back. I'm getting a lot of steps today. So I made it back over to the Grand Floridian and I'm stopping now at the Enchanted Rose. This is one of the signature bars here. I am sitting in this beautiful room with um, like little chandelier tree things and um, there's another room I'll, I'll film on the way out but um, it's really pretty in here. Nice and relaxing, nice and air conditioned. Nice comfy chair that I'm sitting in. You see like the comfy chair behind me and I just ordered an Amour. That's one of the signature drinks that they have here. It's got like a French liqueur in it and pear and chamomile tea. And then there's another drink called the Envy. And that one I did not get, but that one has like bitters and apple, like green apple or something. So there's two signature drinks here, but they have a whole full menu of different drinks. You can find it online. Um, obviously they don't have menus right now because we're still in a pandemic. So I will show you the drink when it comes. I'm really excited to try it. Okay, we're gonna give it a whirl and see how it is. I hope I like it because it's an extremely expensive drink at $21. But while in Disney, oh, it's actually very good. It's an interesting taste to it. It has pear in it, some kind of pear liqueur. Um, I'll have to find out exactly what's in it and post it, but this is an extremely good drink. $21 is a little high price tag, but it's one of those things where you get it when you're at Disney. So it's it's really good. I'm, like, I'm excited about it. It's better than the drink that I had at the Tiki Bar in Dunedin. If you've never seen that video, that is up there. That was a milk and cookies drink, but that's probably because I had whiskey in it and I'm not really a big whiskey drinker. But this is my first um, beverage of the day that's not water. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy it and, and rest my feet. <laughs> So I just put myself into a predicament. So my waitress is super sweet and she came over and asked if I wanted anything else. 
and I really didn't have any idea how long it was going to take me to get into Trader Sam's. They told me three to four hours. So I just ordered another drink and some food and literally as soon as she walked away, I got a text from Trader Sam's saying that I was the next party in. Well, I have to walk back to Trader Sam's, which is going to take me about 15 to 20 minutes. And I decided, you know what, let that go. I'm just going to continue sitting here enjoying this. And I think then after, what I'm going to do is get back on the monorail and go over to the Contemporary and uh, continue my tour there. Uh, it's been years since I've been to the Contemporary too. So um, I don't think I'm going to end up at Trader Sam's tonight. I might try later, but I will keep you updated. But anyway, this is a lot of fun, especially if you're with a group of people. So I would recommend this tour, and I'm only at bar one. Technically, it would have been a bar too soon, but you know, you get the idea. Okay, so this is a martini on their signature martini selection called the French Rose. It has some stuff, it's a gin base, I know that. And it also has some fancy liquor in it that looked interesting, so here I go. Ooh, that's good too. Okay, this is not as sweet as the Amour, but it's still extremely good. Um, I actually, so this girl is so sweet, she just canceled my food order because I, as literally as she walked away, I got that text for Trader Sam's. And so she said that she could put the martini in a to-go cup <laughs> and I can go back to Trader Sam's. So I think that's what I'm gonna do because the food at Trader Sam's is a little bit better. So I'm gonna go to Trader Sam's because I'm picky. Um, not that the food here isn't, I'm sure, amazing, but I'm, I'm a picky eater and there's a lot of things on the menu that aren't for me. But anyway, so I'm going to head over to Trader Sam's and see if the girl will let me in, even though I'm not exactly gonna be 15 minutes, but she knew I was coming over here. So hopefully she'll let me back in. So stay tuned. This is my martini and a to-go cup, it's fine. Okay, so I made an executive decision. I've decided that because the monorail is out, if I go to Trader Sam's, I have to walk all the way back there, which is fine, but I have to walk all the way back again. So I literally just found video from March of 2020, right before everything shut down. So I'm going to insert that video right here. I got the Polynesian Pearl. I did not get the black one. That one's hard to come by, but I've had this before. It's quite tasty. I will say their drinks are extremely good. Their food is also very good there. I am going to continue on and get on the monorail and head over to the Contemporary. And uh, yeah, that's the last stop. And I'm going to probably stop at this place called the Outer Rim. So that will be next on the monorail bar adventure. So this is called the Magic Star. There is a flashing like ice cube thingy in here. I've actually had this drink before in Canada a long time ago, and there's no actual signature drink at this bar, but it's still spectacular. It's Disney, so let's take a sip and see what we think. That's a good cocktail. So this is the Magic Star if you ever come to the Outer Rim. And that is going to do it for the monorail bar crawl. That was a lot of fun. So um, next time I'd like to maybe try some other bars, but we'll uh, have to do that another time. So thank you for tuning into the wonderful world of Wendy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Give me a big thumbs up. It helps in the algorithm. And I'll see you on my next adventure. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.